What's up everybody? Nick here. Welcome to the hill. going on y'all welcome to the hill got a jam-packed weekend planned this weekend at mid-america and uh, to kind of help us navigate through that we have got none other than miss Christina Davidson on the show she's the marketing director for mid-america uh, she does an amazing job down there along with her husband, Jared. Might even have a special guest on tonight. You never know. You never know. It's going to be a great weekend, y'all. Great show. Stand by. What's up, guys? Welcome back, man. I feel like we uh, we just we were just here. Uh, not here, though. You can see in my plush background that uh, I am missing Mid America, so I decided to make Mid America bring bring Mid America to the office today. So what you got behind me is. A, uh, a good shot of the grounds there at Mid-America. Hey, uh, we are talking all things outlaw racing today. Um, these guys are wrapping up the season. I can't believe that I'm saying that, man. I feel I, I don't even feel like we've even started yet. But uh, but uh, we are wrapping up the outlaw series. Um, Pro Rock only has a, a few ev events left so far you know left for the year and then the national rock racing association is is uh they've only got you know i think we've got three regular season races and then uh and then finals back there in mid-america again uh so without further ado man i, I uh i really want to get this kicked off because we have a ton of stuff to cover let's bring them on my guest today miss christina and uh, i told you we'd have a, a secret guest kevin from Outlaw Racing. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm well. I'm well. Christina? 
It, yeah, it looks like a nice day there. Maybe a little cloud cover, just enough to... The sun just started popping yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> of course. It only rained about three quarters of the way up here, and as soon as we get here, the clouds open up, and it's sunny, it's and it's beautiful. It, it, it really is a beautiful spot of the country, beautiful park. I mean, uh, uh, there is something special about Mid-America, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so... I'm with. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Um, let's talk about from the minute you guys open the the uh, the gates to when we're giving away awards and wrapping up for the weekend. Yeah, I'll I'll start off. With, we have our early arrival day tomorrow for campers to come in starting at noon. Um, if anybody wants to come in and get it, get set up early. And then uh, we'll have the gates open starting 8 o'clock Friday morning. They'll be open all day long for everybody to come on in and get set up. We'll have our food trucks here. We'll have our vendors here. And then at 8 o'clock Friday night, we're going to start the drag racing for yes. the bouncers. Mm -hmm. um, special prize there, right? Very special prizes for the rock bouncers and on UTV the on, on the drag strip. strip. It's going to be Ooh. fun. <laughs> Might have to do a little uh, call out action. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll I like see. That. How That'll like be that. fun. We like to start at eight too because uh, it's just cool. The sun's down. We get the lights on. The timer system's going. It's a really fun show to watch on the drag strip back there. And then um, after that, we've got live music from a band called Night Train. They're a really awesome rock band. Uh, that'll be right behind the shop. We've got the um, open air bars back there. And then Saturday is the Outlaw Show starting at? Uh, Outlaw Show, we're going to move it up an hour because it's going to be huge. I think the courses are going to be twice as long as they normally are. So we might start it a little bit early. And, um, of course, you know, our series is a little different than anybody else. We run two at a time. Um, it gives them more of a competition type race. So we're going to probably start those races around 10 o'clock in the morning, and we'll go through our bouncer class, and they'll run both hills. Then we'll go to our UTV class. They'll run both hills. Then we'll take a little short break, and then after the break, uh, we'll bring the top 10 bouncer guys back, um, and they will run a third hill, which more than likely is going to be a complete combination of both hills combined. And it'll be a very long race hill, and then the top ten will then be evaluated with their top their three hills combined times. Gotcha. After that, depending on whatever time that ends, everybody will have a break for dinner, <laughs> maybe by dinner? that time, five, five six o'clock. Beer. And then, uh, and then yes. we'll go back to behind the shop again, and the outlaw crew will do their awards back there. And then I am so excited. We have an ACDC. We have the ACDC tribute band. The ACD. The tribute band. Back in black behind the shop again Saturday night. It's going to be amazing. Super excited for that. And then that's still only half the weekend. Sunday. I was going to say, we're not even done then. <laughs> not exactly. Sunday, we kick off our track races. Um, they'll start their heat racing at 10 in the morning. They've got usually about 10 different classes of. Short course racing, all from 170s, the little guys, all the way up to the big turbo cars. It's so much fun to watch. Um, they'll run both of their heat races on Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. And then Sunday night, it's the Outlaw Show again. Outlaw Show again. For a brand new hill the bouncers have ever been on here. Yeah, do you want to, uh, you want to, I got a pretty cool picture of you standing next to one. I'm, I'm going to take y'all down off the screen for just a second. But uh, I wanted to show everybody this. So that's Christina standing down there at the bottom. Yeah, and you see that that tree right there is standing, standing straight up, boy. Let me let me get myself out of there. Let's see if we can bring this up so y'all can see. Can y'all see that? Okay. Let me know in the chat here. So hard on this. I mean, they went after it hard for I want to say like four or five days. They spent all their time on that hill, clearing that hill, and yeah. they just nailed the beauty. But yeah. this is not going to be like a normal bounty hill. No. What? Uh, tell us about it. Okay. This one we're going to do a little bit different. Um, it's actually going to be three hills. And the fastest combined time 
of all three hills, if they make it, will win the pot. No second place, no third place. First place takes everything. And I will, I'm going to try to talk to Jason, the park owner, and see if the winner gets naming rights. Wow. And I don't know if you'll be naming that particular hill or if you're going to be naming just that whole ridge there. But we'll see what Jason says about that. Maybe he'll let the, the winner pick a name for that area. I like the sounds of that. Uh, I, I have some of the other pictures that you sent me, Christina, up as well. Um, so we're, we're kind of getting a, a, a view, Kevin, of what you're talking about right now. Um, I, I'm sure that pictures, pictures never do it justice. I mean, we can see Christina standing next to it all day long. But, I mean, I, I know that general area. and You couldn't you know, see this before our crews got on it though. Wow. No, I'm sure. Yeah, but but I, what I'm saying is is like I I know when you're down at the bottom looking yeah. up at the top of that whole yeah. ridge all the way across, you know, it and is cool. The cool thing too is Nick, we've got a really great viewing area set up. So that I went cool. down there already got the flags up. Tons cool. of viewing area and Jason even had the foresight. I don't know how he thinks about these things, but on the other side of the hill to clear limbs on trees from like midway down so yeah. people can park up the hill oh, and yeah. Yeah. live out the hill yeah. across the way. So yeah. lots of green area. It's going to be, it's going to be great. I'm sure uh, Lucas is going to, is be, will be thankful for that. Very happy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't fly his drones into them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a very unique part of your series, Kevin, that I've seen is, You've had quite a bit of coverage from Eagle Eye Productions, which is a sponsor of this show. Um, Lucas is just going to change the game as far as uh, event coverage goes and stuff like that for big bouncers. You know, um, you know how, how has that changed where you guys do have a completely different uh, setup, racing side by side and stuff like that? Like, have you found that's helped or hurt or? Um, well, uh, Lucas and them, those guys are just now getting into it, so they've still got a lot to figure out, but they're doing a great job. Yeah. And, you know, Lucas was kind of a byproduct. Um, we wanted his daughter, <laughs> Michaela. <laughs> the Michaela has oh. the most beautiful voice. Okay, all right, yeah. They're yeah. all very talented. They are all and, very talented. Uh, and soon, an unbelievable national anthem because we will not start a race without the national anthem or a prayer yeah. and we want Michaela at every single one of our races because she just blows everyone away yeah cool but now Lucas has got something going on he's got a different aspect because yeah. he can get on top of the buggies whereas everybody else is right next to the buggies that's right and I think with with, with as time goes on he is going to be able to bring something to our sport that nobody else can it's just like my race at Hooter Holler. He got pictures of my buggy, and I thought I was fixing to knock the drone out of the air because <laughs> it was so close to yeah. my front. So he's been good at it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I will say one aspect that maybe not a lot of people think of is, you know, I, I have personally been up on hills filming. So, you know, as a, a, a human, we have a natural instinct to flinch, you know, or whatever. That drone won't flinch it has right. rocks <laughs> coming at it you know what i mean and, and uh you know so um yeah i, I, want, I, I want lucas drive into the cab into the uh, yeah. cockpit area as they're racing and then fly out that's yeah. what i want i think that'd be cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you're right he's got a ways to go before we get to that <laughs> yeah <laughs> those drones are expensive i i wouldn't want to yeah what? There might be someone here this weekend who can do that, though. Yeah. Uh, Lucas has a partner drone, or a, uh, a so not associated, but another guy that flies drones that has been focused on a short course for a long time. Yeah. Who has done that? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we coming up from Texas. Yeah. Seven uh, yeah. FTV. Yeah. Has some really cool. He has the virtual reality drones. Yeah. So he flies with a VR headset on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, and I think the two of them are teaming up for another surprise this weekend, too. Cool. Uh, so look out for that. 
Yep. Definitely call that. Eagle Eye. He will be providing all the updates. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, William Wallace says, I never flinch, old son. Yeah, I, I, I bet. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> I'm asking if he's going live. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Uh, I know I plan on going live. I know y'all can't see my, my background right now, but I got the, I got that, uh, shot of the park up behind me on the green screen. And, uh, I think I took the shot from where I was going, where I was live, uh, at the pro rock event. So I hope we can go live there again. I think Lucas can help me out with the Wi-Fi and, um, yeah, I was that earlier and he's on it cool cool well, William, he's not racing this weekend he's just filming well yeah oh uh, i don't i mean i don't know no he's in here william are you going to be racing uh anywhere william, uh he says drones might i'm gonna have uh i'm gonna have live on facebook from a cell phone okay and he says he's filming, so he's just. But Jared, 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 who is sitting right there, is saying, Call, there. "Called out, bro. Got to drive that rig." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 I tell you, man. I, you know this. What we're doing, how we're kind of getting off topic. It is easy to do that at Mid America, man. <laughs> it is easy to just kind of get caught up in the fact that you are in this beautiful like i said slice of america uh, uh william wallace says it best right here john 316 thank god we get to do this stuff you know uh, you know i i i'm coming all the way from arizona dude uh, i got a lot of stuff going on but i would drop anything to go to mid america and and just go watch watch some rock race and i love this like i'm so thankful for this and i'm, I'm so ready to come back we're looking forward to a great week. So wait, did we even finish the schedule? We talked about <clears throat> the Bounty Hill Sunday night. About Monday. Monday, the track racing finals will start at 10. So cool. that's one, all four days of racing here to watch. And that's on top of trail riding and the pool. You're not going to have time to trail ride. And the vendors and the food court. And good luck fitting it all in this weekend, guys. <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, well, true. I mean, Nick, I do need to say, uh, advanced weekend passes are going to be on our website until I get off this live show. Um, that's a reduced price. Gate prices are higher. If you're coming for the weekend, get them bought on our website now, right now. And you can do the. <clears throat> um, what else can they do online to kind of speed up that check-in process? Buy your passes, buy your UTV pass. We still got dry camp in space, and then sign your waiver. There's a link on the page where you buy tickets. You'll also get a link in your email confirmation after you buy tickets to sign your waiver. That helps us so much. Yep. That way you don't have to do it out of the gate. It takes like five minutes, yep. but just do it ahead of time. Then all the girls have to do is check that you're here. Yep. So. Yep. That's what I was getting at. Is I I ended up doing that in the car as we were pulling up, and it just made things so much easier yeah um let's see it looks like we might have uh, big hill media there these guys are talking back and forth about uh head and cody and bearcat love to man i don't know if y'all have seen their little short films they've been doing but i love those little each driver gets a three four minute video oh my goodness so so talented we have some really talented media people in this sport we really Dylan do will be there yep. dylan's gonna be there that. Yep. Hill Rod film will be here i think some of the hill rod crews filming for high octane again yep super excited to have everybody here yep uh let's see the guys are talking uh the count kevin uh jed harper says 38 drivers as of now i think we're 37 38 drivers for bouncer class and um 22 for utb okay so i bet we i bet we top 40 by the weekend okay that, that's uh, that's 
That's big. Yeah, that is huge, man. <laughs> That's a show. That's huge. Yeah. And we got to fit all in one day. <laughs> and then to think that the next weekend is going to be the Ride for a Cure event in, in Alabama. So I would dare say that most of the drivers are going to be, you know, making that well, trip. Here's where the here's where the problem because you know all these events are stacked 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 upon each every weekend now but especially because of covid mm -hmm. but this is our finals this is a chance for the drivers that are racing for us to get top three yep so are they going to take it easy yep. or are they going to go all out yeah they don't you know do they want to break their stuff and not maybe make next weekend or are they going to be conservative yeah mm -hmm. yep yeah, th this this is what separates the men from the boys. That's that's for sure. You know, yes, sir. Uh, you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But that's racing, isn't it? I mean, racing. That that's not a bad problem to have right now. We we sure could have worse problems. You know. Uh, speaking of that, I, I don't even want to think about it. But weather? How, how have you guys been watching weather at all? Beautiful. Uh, for okay, this cool. Beautiful. Could not be better. William said that. William said it was going to be. It rained up until like two o'clock this afternoon, but just like a light rain, not like a downpour or anything. Yep. And I think we're looking at mid eighties and. I think lower eighties. Lower eighties. Lower eighties. Yep. For the Perfect. whole week. Tomorrow night, Beautiful. fifty-six for the low. Shoot. I brought have... fire. Campfire. I was going to yep. say, I may have to put a sweater on, man. We what? usually do a big, uh, Jason will do a, a huge uh, campfire out behind the shop. So cool, cool, cool. Watch the band, chill by the fire. Yeah, heck yeah, enjoy man. It all. I, uh, it was, uh, I, I was in uh, Prescott, Arizona this morning, and uh, I, had to roll the, I had to roll the windows up and put the heat on because it was, it was oh, like God. in the 60s or something the 60s. up there. Yeah. We're, we're used to, I'm, I'm located in Tucson and you know i'm used to waking up at 90 95 you know uh, at four or five o'clock in the morning <laughs> when it should be call, the coolest that's what they call that dry heat oh yeah not i i know but but like you walk outside and the rocks and everything are still so hot you can feel just the the you know because i i live in the city pretty much so it's all concrete and rocks and they don't have grass here you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to a beautiful weekend. It looks like it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I am stoked. There's no dust. Uh, it's amazing. Yep. Oh, they'll have that freaking water truck going nonstop, man. Always, always running. Um, John, Cody and Cody and John uh, going back and forth here. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm sounds sure. like they're coming. Go guys. Cody says, says, bro, I'm game. So I like it. Well, me, media guys, I put y'all all on the list. You're always on our list to get in the gate for free. So cool. show up, come take some pictures, some video, and have a blast this weekend. Absolutely. Uh, Jared wants to know about Drag Racing Friday. What? Uh, Drag Racing Friday. Yeah. We talked about it. Drag racing Friday. Was uh, sure if we missed something, Jared? Or well, we may try to do some grudge matches, of course. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe call out. I think somebody needs to call out Jake Pike because he's got that three second he, we, lap. Evidently, there's a Jake Pike that has got the fastest time out there. And I have a video. So somebody needs to beat Jake, and I think he's what like. Subaru powered or Ford or something. <laughs> yep. I, I, he doesn't have an. It's, it's a Tundra V8. Yeah, it's a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, it's a Tundra. I don't V8. know what yeah. it is, but but somebody needs a PJ. Um, now, we're each each racer is going to run both sides, and we're going to do a combined time. Um, but instead of giving away money or points or anything like that for this year, what we're doing is first place is going to get a season pass entry fee for next year. Wow, uh, that's something that not a lot I hear people do. They will not have to pay entry fee all year next that's year. That's huge. Yes, second place is going to get three races free, and third place will get one race free. So that's huge, man. That's, that's huge. absolutely huge. You have nothing yeah. to lose. Yeah, a drive shaft or yeah, engine. I know, right? Because what what could possibly yeah, I mean.
What belts? Yeah. Belts if you're we UTV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Adam Coots watching with us. Uh, Adam Coots, I'm coming strong. I'm coming strong, baby. You better bring it, Adam. Yep. Uh, he says, I'm going to shake and bake. <laughs> uh, Derek Talent, just trying to get caught up here. Hopefully, we get some questions. Uh, okay, Vanessa Rufton. I'm, I'm probably butchering that, Vanessa. I'm sorry. Where do we go on the website to get the discounted weekend pass? MidAmericaOutdoors.com. Click the little hamburger thing to get the menu. Click events. At the top of the events page is the schedule for the weekend and a big red button that says click here for Labor Day passes. Okay. Vanessa, if you haven't found it, uh, let us know and we will make sure that you can make sure that you get it there. Link to the Labor Day page. Jared's going to post a link. Okay. Jared's going to post a link for you. Excellent. Uh, John Edwards Bearcat says thank you guys that really means a lot talking about uh, you guys always keeping them on the media list William says Jake is fast yes yes he is that buggy switched on that's for sure you know what I, I will say that uh, Larry his buddy Larry Larry Krogh that little yep. that little uh, new hot little V8 that he put in that buggy that thing's turned up now so mm -hmm. that's a whole new buggy now and uh, is what's Croc, what's Cochran going to do? Josh Cochran. Yeah. Yeah. No. Same thing, man. See, this is cool because I, this will be my first outlaw race. I'm going to get to see buggies that I've never seen before. You drive right. meet drivers that I've never met before. You know, so for me, this is a huge uh, networking opportunity. You know, I get these guys on the show for the week for weeks after. You know, and and then. Uh, Every for 2021, I mean, for every race series that we have going on, I'll have these guys, uh, you know, you know, talking about the race, talking about their prep, talking about, you know, and that's spreading the spreading. That, that's what I. That's all I want. I want the the sport to grow as a whole, and and uh, you know, it's going to be events like this that really allow us to uh, to network like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, Vanessa, it looks like she's getting squared away. Jared's got that link there now. Uh, William Wallace says, talk about the trail maps. Trail maps. Thank you, William. The trail map is available on our website, also midamericaoutdoors.com. Look at the menu. Uh, there's an FAQ page, and I believe it's right there. A uh, link to the trail map that will show you a picture of it, but it'll also show you instructions on how to download the Gaia GPS app to your phone, create a free account, then email me with your email address. I'll add you to a folder, and boom, you'll have an interactive trail map that is on your phone. Sweet. So you can kind of follow the trails along. It's really important to do that. A lot of people miss that, and when they get here, they might miss some trails, and they think we're like a really small, I hit everything in an hour or two, and it's not the truth. We're working on it all the time, but... There's a lot to see out here. There really is. There's everything from a couple of creek beds, lots of hill climbs. Obviously, most of it's wooded. Um, part of it is what we ran for our cross-country course, which is a lot of fun to, to ride. Um, but we're working on it all the time. And uh, But definitely check out the trail map. And we also have some printed here in an info box. Uh, just ask any staff member where that is, and you can find one. Awesome. Care about uh, the pros. <laughs> just a beer. Good. Good call, William. Um, Corey Matthews says, I'm bringing all of my 200 horses. <laughs> Scott Henson, hello. William Wallace, uh, Epic Trails, yes, sir. William uh, probably trails better than yeah. absolutely anyone. Maybe, there might be, like, one guy on our staff that knows the trails better than William. <laughs> yeah. So That's also, awesome, though. That's you're, awesome. If you're curious about the trails, just grab William and say, hey, let me follow you, and he will. Heck yeah! Thank you everywhere. Sad thing is, I'm always working when I'm here. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, he made me promise that we're gonna make time this weekend. So, uh, Michael Garsk, I think Jared answered it, but let's let's read this out loud. Do weekend passes go up in price on Saturday? Yes, they go up after I take them off the website tonight. Okay. I'll probably I'll do a little bit of a grace period, but they'll be up until 
later this evening. Right. So buy them tonight. Um, after that, they go up to right now. They're sixty dollars per adult. So I don't know if you heard the four days of crazy awesome fun we have planned, but you get all of that for sixty dollars for adults if you buy them on our website right now. If you miss the website price um, at the gate, they will be seventy five dollars. Okay, and that's still worth it. Still Okay. Uh, let's see. Katie Thomas says she's ready to get there. Uh, Wayne Wallace. There's going to be a lot to buy. Also, I got some cash saved up. So, uh, um, you talked about the food court. I think William touched on that. I'm sure Outlaw is going to have some swag to buy, T-shirts and stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure there probably isn't an ATM there, right? So, come with cash. No. Somebody mentioned oh. that one time. That's one. Don't okay, let so hear us. <laughs> not only will there be lots of T-shirts and hoodies to buy, but every year at our finals we do a raffle, and our okay. raffle is not your ordinary raffle. Um, we have about twenty-two to twenty-five thousand dollars worth of stuff that we're giving away. Uh, sticky tires, transmissions. Um, all kinds of different stuff. I mean, ice chests, squatch boxes, you name it. Um, we're going to be having a huge raffle um, Saturday night after our awards ceremony up at the shop. Uh, tickets are going to be a dollar a piece, um, or you can get twenty-five for twenty dollars. And but you do have to be present to win. But you could win a transmission. Um, Fritz transmission is, or Fitz, excuse me, Fitz transmission is building us a TH400 transmission. I think they're going to have it here um, for somebody to win so that they can wow. build their buggy with it. And this is a legit transmission. Jared's over there like, yep, that's mine. <laughs> uh, Jared's doing the stickies, the transmission, and that's going to be the start of his buggy because I think he got a little bit uh, I'm going to take his wallet away he from went, him tomorrow. He went riding a few weeks ago and kind of got addicted to it. Somebody went riding on her birthday. Yeah? I did not get addicted, but I had a whole lot of fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jed Harper says, dang, I wish I would have left tonight. We'll be rolling in with my crew around 2 tomorrow. Trip right. Pullen joining us. What's up, Trip? Mike Molden. Uh... Cody says, John, do you seriously want to go? Definitely be epic content. I agree. I agree, y'all. Uh, where uh, where y'all coming from, Bearcat? Cody, where y'all coming from? Because uh, I think they're looking for a ride. So if we can try to facilitate or find somebody coming from your area or coming through there, uh, find us a ride out this weekend. Yeah, where are y'all coming from, man? Maybe we can try to help. Um, Cody says, John, they are having the legit ACDC cover band on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're they're in Lexing, Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've never met any bouncer drivers from Kentucky. Anybody... Uh, Anybody out, anybody watching right now coming through that area? And, and uh, are y'all serious? Do you need a ride, Cody? Or were you just saying? And Nick, another shout out. Well, yes, hit up the Outlaw Merch tent at the bottom of the hill. Uh, apparel tent's going to be everywhere. We're gonna, everywhere. We're going to set it up everywhere. There's people. Find okay, Kevin. Cool. Find Gary. Get your shirt. Get your hoodies. Get your raffle tickets. Also, at the main bar and concession where we are right now, there will be MAO merch. Yep. Does that fit this? Oh, yeah. That's true. I think it's just a skinny can. Just a skinny can, too. So we have regular ones, too. We have, we have regular ones. Okay, we'll fit a bottle. Yeah. But we have <laughs> And shirts and hats yeah. and shirts. so always check check at the bar. We've got new stuff coming out all the time. Uh, we have a couple of new shirt designs I think for this weekend cool. uh, from our last event. I got so. one of those uh, s s like wicking, self wicking or whatever they yeah. are. That yeah. material is so nice when it's hot out there, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you're running up and down the hills and trying to make stuff happen. Like it's a uh, yeah, it's cool, very nice stuff. Uh, let's see, Danny Wilson watching with us. Michael's watching from Indianapolis. 
Jared says, hitch a ride with Josh Parrish. Well, we'll if, if y'all legit, like, need a ride, we'll see if we can work on something here. We've we'll, got enough people driving across the country, but... Uh, Christine, man. Uh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, nah, we will either drive or fly or ride with Wade Good. Okay. All right. So it sounds like they're good to go. All right. Cool. All right. Good deal. Good deal. That's right. with me so I can put your actual names on media list. <laughs> good. Yeah. No, that's good. Cool, man. Yeah, I'll be I'll, – I'm flying in, Cody. So uh, I'm flying in at Tulsa. And Chris, uh, Lucas's son, is picking me up. So uh, hope hoping to uh, get to – chew on his ear for a little while about some music and stuff uh that kid is so talented man like i said that whole family that whole family is so talented yep but uh jared says you know where where they're at bro <laughs> shelby says tell them to keep the bar open for me be there at 1 a.m oh boy nope <laughs> Gate's going to be closed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, is it what else are we missing? Um, what else? Uh, what else? Can uh, we... We're going to have the bounce houses up, the pool will be open, um, the drag strip behind the shop, our food trucks. Yeah, Ooh, William wants to know what food trucks. Okay, well, it's the regular crew, Chunky Monkey, who's always got the awesome burger sandwiches yep. wrapped, stuff like that. Um, our Mexican food truck will be here, Ginger Jake's Gourmet Hot Dogs, and we are also trying out a new barbecue truck this weekend, uh, it's called Wild Bill's Smokehouse. Nice. I bet that'll go over well. Yeah, and then we'll also have the ice cream truck and the kettle corn okay. guy as well. Cool. I, I had the cabin that was right across from the dang food court last time, and oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I stayed hungry, man. I could have eaten there every hour. Uh, William's kids are coming. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, John uh, Bearcat wants to know: Does the bar contain Jaeger and Red Bull? That's kind of their go-to. No. 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 So you'll want to bring your own there, yeah. but you're welcome to bring whatever you want. So. Yeah. We do have the frozen machines going again this weekend. It looks like so. There is more than just beer available. Cool. William's excited about the barbecue. Um, so we kind of talked about uh, vendors that were going to be there between you guys. Is there any other vendors? Like uh, Raceline was there for the Pro Rock event. Yes. So um, Jared is here with his truck for Mid-America Power Sports. Heard his trailer, sorry, with uh, all kinds of side-by-side -side parts belts, wheels, tires, and readings, trailer, axle, tie rod kits, ball joints. So make sure you call him if you need anything. Y'all y'all, y'all practice that. She knew we it. We didn't. Yes, He's smiling didn't. at me right now, though. <laughs> uh, but in addition to that, um, we also have a longstanding vendor with us, uh, Old Glory Power Sports, um, who has been coming to this park since, I believe, like their very first race weekend before I even worked here. Um, great guy. He carries all kinds of parts, but also accessories, radios, whips, um, things like that. Some more of the, the kind of fun, flashy stuff. Um, so he will be here. You can't miss him. He has a giant trailer that he's wrapped to the American flag now. Um, so definitely see him. And then um, Side by Side Tech in June is coming. And then um, we have a couple of other contract vendors for the year. Um, why do I can't? I just blanked on it. Uh, sunglass savings and um, the store out of Missouri. And we've got a couple other like tent style vendors that will be set up right here right outside the bar with some other kind of like fuel cans and chemicals and then uh, one of them's got like Where flags. You have been down there. I haven't. Um, yeah, we'll have lots of lots of stuff available here in the vendor area, and we we did do something new. We blocked off where Jared's trailer is parked right now. We blocked off the end of the A row, I so traffic I know traffic flow is going to be a little bit different, but everybody will see it when they get here. Okay. Uh, William says side by side tune. Side by side tech and tune. He does tuning. Okay. Okay. 
Tyler says, we used the parts trailer last event very handy. Good deal. Good. Glad to hear that. That's what it's for. Shelby's like Are squirrel. Are you bringing um, people down to the rice hills? We can if we need to. Okay. If we get enough people that, that are on foot that need help, we can always get the uh, pedestrian trailers out. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, uh, so if y'all don't have, if these people show up and they don't have a side by side or a four wheel or anything to drive, y'all yeah. can get them down to the race hills and. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if if and if enough of us aren't around to personally do it ourselves, uh, which I have a five seater, but um, if if we have enough people that need it, then yes, we we do have pedestrian trailers. That people can jump up in and sit on and pull them behind the jeeps and the jeeps can get all the way down to the race hills yep. Super. honestly i mean if you're walking and dragging a bunch of stuff i i can't if somebody's got room they're gonna stop and ask you I, i've never been to an event and not been asked you know if i needed help or something so if you're watching this and this is your first time coming to a park which i can imagine we're we're gonna start to have that's gonna start to start to happen yeah. people are gonna catch that's on to good. this stuff man and they're gonna come and say i just want to watch off-road racing i don't own a side by side or anything you know but yeah. uh and we come want on. those people too. come on down yeah, absolutely like come on. We'll take care of you yep yeah, that's right because I, I mean i'm serious when i say off-road resort man this is it's you know you can bring the whole family you, you uh, but but you can i mean you you know, you can bring the whole family there and have a good time and, and, uh, and really have a, really have a great time. Uh, William's asking if they can ride all night and then Jared says all night. We do not have any limitations on riding. Right. Right. Um, you know, I, buzz. Like, <laughs> I, I love our event weekends cause I mean, whether I'm going to bed at 11 o'clock or 1 AM, like it's just, uh, there's just a buzz. Yeah. It's like, I, love it of, of buggies playing in the trails and yeah. having, having a good time um so i had this question come up about the ride for a cure event somebody asked if they're allowed to drive their jeeps on their trails at that park mm -hmm. is that something that you guys allow yes we okay. welcome all our vehicles we have no limitations i'm pretty sure i saw a really old mitsubishi suv last time Heading out onto the trails, so cool. hey, bring it, have fun, cool, have a good cool. time. All right, I I think that uh, this other park they weren't allowed to do that, but I I don't think it was because they didn't want it. I think it was just because of insurance reasons or or something, whatever. But uh, I thought that was a, an important question yeah. that we need to ask. We but have... we have trails of, of varying difficulty. You know, not every kind of vehicle can go everywhere, obviously. Mm -hmm. But we frequently have four wheelers out here. We frequently have jeeps. We are working on an area that will be a little bit better for jeeps. Um, so you know, I would I would post up that you know, we don't have like your awesome rock crawling spot yeah. for jeeps, but they can certainly enjoy themselves on the trails. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tyler Price, 1 a.m., that's funny, more like 5 a.m. <laughs> Talking about you going to bed at either 11 or... I can't hear the buzz. Yeah. But... <laughs> uh, let's see. William says he drives his Jeep all weekend. Uh, I think, let's see, he said that this is, this is by far the best park. What did you say? This is by far the best place to watch for newcomers for sure yeah. whether you're racing side by sides or or the hill killing i agree look i mean if, if i know it's probably not too easy to tell but for everybody that's watching at home and can see kind of kind of behind me see how open it is man and it's just it's there isn't a spot on the park where you really can't see the whole venue i mean when you when you said earlier that jason thinks about stuff and it's true. He really, does. he really does. He really thinks of, of everything. He puts a lot of thought into everything. Like when we were uh, when we were coming there, he had just made the uh, the mud pit. Uh, you know the the uh, the mud mega truck. mega truck race track, basically. Yeah. And you know, I had never been there before before that, and. Uh, I mean, it, it looked professional. It really did. It looks professional. <laughs> the whole park does. Well, um, 
Let's see. William says, my son will be driving. That's awesome. Uh, Jared says, does that mean your buggy is up for a rental on the Bounty Hill? <laughs> uh, let's see. William says, Grand Canyon of Racing. I agree. I agree. Julio Ramirez says, are there going to are there gonna be trails for beginners? I'm new to the side-by-side -side world. Yes, yes. absolutely. Cool. I'm a beginner. And I enjoy our trails. Okay. I took her, I took her riding for her birthday. And, 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 and she was screaming all over the place. <laughs> in a side-by-side no, I... -side or in a bouncer? Well, I went in his we bouncer. were going a little right. fast in, in my bouncer, yeah. yes. So, cool. No, honestly, I'm, I'm a beginner, truly. Um, as passionate as I am about the sport, I have a Honda Pioneer. Um, and I enjoy it. Oh, so much of it. There's so much out there to enjoy. And everywhere there's a hill climb, there's a way around it. So you can sit at the bottom of the hill and watch the razors and the, the sport buggies go yeah. or just enjoy yourself and enjoy the trails yep. that you're comfortable on. Uh, Jared, I, I did get the, you know, the 50 cent tour um, before I left. And it is true. I mean, you you can make it as hard as you want it, but you can definitely just cruise around and watch people do it if, if you want to. Um, let's see. Brian Gordon watching with us. Stephen Hefley. William says, or William says, Julio, lots of them. You will love this place. I agree. Uh, William says, heard she was crying like a baby when you were Wait, when you were no. riding. <laughs> no, I was doing it for like one. He did he he did this jump a couple of times, and then he went up into part of our old short course track. And it, it was after that that I was like, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> she was on the floor. This was in the bouncer, right? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and, and I, I want to, I'm going to say this and then we'll lead right into my next question for Kevin. Uh, um, I got to do that with Daniel Heckley at, right after he put the supercharger on, smoked out. So, I, yeah, it, it yep. was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. Uh, with that said, Kevin, um, do you want to talk about, uh, you know, who who are who's in the top running for podiums? This uh, this is final, so you know. Well, um, you know, I don't want I don't want to choke on my own words or anything like that because I'm not quite sure um, the the top top 10 or top five are so close to each other that I don't want to mention anything about it because with our type of racing, anything can happen. You don't know if you're going to slide into that tree or you're going to run to that tree or you're going to flip or what. So, um, and I don't have the list right in front yeah, of me. I love how Paige has been posting them lately though. Look yeah. at posts yes. of yeah. mm -hmm. So you can go to the Outlaw page and look yep. for sure. So go, go to um, www.outlawracing.rocks, take a look at our standings, and you'll see who's who's in the top ten. And those are your contenders right there. Yeah. I yeah. think I'm like 570 or something like that. <laughs> um, which, that is uh, unique to the series as well, is, you know, the series manager racing in, in the, you know, Right along with everybody else, that uh, yeah. that doesn't happen any in any other series. No, it's kind it's kind of it's kind of hard to handle. Um, both Brett Rhodes and I, uh, we're both the investors in Outlaw, and we race, and um, it's hard to wear both hats because we're sitting there one minute we're trying to run the series, and then all of a sudden um, I got Jerry Foley and I got Brian Rogers and Don Rogers and and, and Shelby. They're in, in my wife, Gina. His wife's like, hello, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> They're all yelling at me like, go get in your buggy right now. You've got to race. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am trying to get ready and get in my buggy and uh, to go race. But, yeah, you know, like we said, you know, this is a race series by racers for racers. I mean, we are racers, and that's what we enjoy. The sad thing is, is that both Brett and I, we're not eligible to win. Yeah. We can't win any money. We can't win any trophies. So if I place first, if I beat Timmy Cameron, you know. Well, the bragging, the bragging rights would be yeah, worth more. I was going to say. <laughs> well, yeah. let, let me rephrase that. Y'all stop laughing at me. If, no, no, no. gallery over here. When I beat Timmy Cameron, 
you know, and I'm and I'm I could stand in the first place. So are you the grudge match call for the drag strip? Yeah, it could be. You never know. You know. Timmy. So so when I beat Timmy Cameron, I'm you know, and he comes in second, and I'm actually first. Um, I won't be able to stand at first place on the podium, but that's okay. I mean. I enjoy racing. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter if I win. Yes, it does matter. But I mean, <laughs> but I enjoy it, and we're doing this series for those guys, and um, we want them to have the, the time of their life. Yeah. Yeah. No, no doubt about it, man. The the uh, comments are pouring in, you guys. Uh, uh, at Jed Harper, ask Kevin if he's going to let Brett beat nope. him, beat up on him on Friday night in the track strip. No. No. No, I got my buggy dialed in. No way. Keller radar <laughs> watching. Uh Jamin watching with us from up there in uh, Connecticut. What's up, man? Danny Kelso, Dano is here. All right, Dano's here. We can start the show, y'all. <laughs> uh William Wallace, he has the sexiest buggy around. I think he's talking talking about your buggy, Kevin. Absolutely. Yes. I've been a fan of that thing since he's been building it, which is why it was so special that I got a ride in it. Yeah. From my yeah. My buggy's a little different. Oh. Yeah. Um, because you went. Because I, I, um, I endurance race with it and yeah. I rock bound. Yeah. And it's a rock monster. Yeah. And it looks like Porsche 911. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dan LaPlante watching with us. Jay Stortz. Jay says, what's up, guys? We are headed that way tomorrow. Can't wait. Good deal. Uh, Thank you, guys. William says uh, he, he does a lot on race day. Yeah, I, oh, I have no doubt, especially with racing in there. Uh, Rod Von Grote, where are y'all watching from? Where's everybody watching from, man? Um, speaking of that, is there what can we what can we uh, expect as far as coverage goes? Uh, are we gonna see any sort of live feeds besides the ones that might be like William or? Myself, you know what I mean? No. It's coming. Unless, yeah. unless a certain experiment. We have an experiment yeah. brewing. Oh. I should probably tell Kevin about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I know, yeah. I, know what, I know what you're talking about. And, yeah. An experiment, so I don't want to promise anything. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to see maybe, probably not all, but part. <laughs> we'll try. Okay, good. But, I mean, that just means that everyone should come here. That, well, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, I, it's so true. I mean, no video from any angle will ever do it justice. No. And that's the reason why we don't do it because video is just—it's like you're driving down a paved road. Yeah. And it if does. you can compare the Outlaw series, watching in person the two buggies take off together, yeah. and then just like trying to keep up with who's where on what hill, and then they finish their times, and then. I have I've thought about bringing a notepad to keep my own track of the times because it's impossible to know who's leading Well, because they all get different times on two different hills. But what you don't know is that we broadcast all of our times live. Wow. And no, I know they're there, but like, like you have the boards that show them, but like no. in your head, no. you can't keep no. up with them. No, 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 no. We, you, we have Wi-Fi down there. And you will be able to connect your phone to our Wi-Fi and see the times as they're entered. Didn't even know that. Yep. We've never Learned raced something before. New day. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Do what? We don't have an app for that. But it is. It's, but. Just, it's so exhilarating and it's so entertaining to watch two buggies run two different hills at the same time, yep. and then trying to keep up with who did what time, what's the fastest time been, and then they switch sides and they all run the other side. Oh, it's it's so much fun to watch in person. I really. I can't can't say that. The the footage that Lucas got at uh, I, I want to say it was uh, Rush Springs Rush Springs Ranch, maybe uh, of Timmy doing that hundred yard drift coming down off the hill before he transitioned into the next transition into the next hill. Man, oh my goodness! Like, that was flat nasty. That was flat nasty. Out of here, flat nasty. Okay, good. Yeah, but get out of here, man. That was. That was so much fun. We, I mean, sick. we want to have a drag race at every one of our races. We want the drivers to have to start right next to each other yep. and have to take off. And because the, the drivers, they sit there and they eat off each other. It's just like feeding each other. Like, my buggy's louder than your buggy. My buggy's faster than your buggy. And then they line up and they're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh 
Uh, let's see. Race for the love. William says race for the love. That's right. Yep. Yep. Not for the podium or anything else. Uh, the experience. You're absolutely right, William. Um, let's see. But can you spit on some rocks for us, though? Okay, yes. I will spit on I will spit on some rocks for those of you that can't come. Yes. Uh, Kathy Krogh watching with us. How are you, ma'am? Thank you for joining. Dusty Terry. Uh, let's see. Jed Harper. And we thank all the Outlaw crew for everything they do for us. Amen, brother. Amen. Uh, Stephen Hefley says, when... When does Hill Killing start? So we went over the kind of the schedule uh, early on in the show. Let's go over it one more time uh, for those that might might have joined late. Yeah, uh, tomorrow Thursday is early arrival day for campers that want to come in a day early. Uh, gates open noon to 10 p.m. Friday the gate will be open all day starting at 8 a.m. Um, and then we're kicking off with the outlaw drag racing behind the shop Friday night. Friday night. And then Saturday is the big Outlaw final show. Yes. You're going to start it. Outlaw will be our timed, our two timed hills for every racer, um, and that's Bouncer and UTV. Uh, it'll be starting right around 10 o'clock in the morning and last probably until about 5 or 6 in the afternoon. Like almost 60 racers. Yes. We Well, right now we have. Between the yeah. two classes. So well. it's going to be a lot be there. But Sunday night will be a show too. And then after Sunday we have the track races at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The heat, uh, they'll do their heat racing and then Sunday night at 8, 6? Six. 6 or 8? Six, 6, I think it's at 6, is the all new, never seen before here at the park, Bounty Hill. Yes. 3. Completely different hill. Okay. 3 Bounty Hill. 16. Combined 16. times. Yeah. Winner takes all. Cool. Cool. Um, and then Monday. And then Monday and then we Monday, have the Yeah, I was going to say. We just felt like we were missing something. The track finals how are going to start at probably 10 a.m. It'll depend on track conditions and everything. But usually or the plan is about 10 a.m. they'll start. And like I said, they have usually around 10 different classes because they run from 170s, 570s, youth, women, all the way up through Turbo. Okay. Um, right, you don't want to get Saturday night. Say that again? ACDC. A okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Uh, Dylan. D, this weekend. D Pat says it's the best uh, ACDC van ever. He's more excited than I am. <laughs> his, uh, his parents are coming. I'm excited to meet. I've never met I've so never awesome. met uh, mom and dad. I think one of them was flying his mom down from, like, Wisconsin. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. That's cool. I like it. I mean, we we've, we've got racers that come down from Canada to race with yeah. us, but this year, not so much. Yeah, yeah. So but Wisconsin, Illinois, we've got all over the United States. They come to race with Outlaw. Yep, I love that. Yep, absolutely. I have that with the freaking RC class, man. It's the same thing. We, you know, at yep. uh, Hawk Pride, we had guys flying in. A couple of guys flew in from California. One dude uh, drove from Texas. Uh, new uh, one kid uh, flew down from New Hampshire, so wow. it's. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I think it's probably uh, a little easier to fly an RC car in than it is to absolutely. Fly. You're, you're absolutely right. I have a Pelican case. Yeah, I put mine in, up in the Pelican case and and check it. And it's too easy. Uh, a Pelican case, an RC bouncer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's in there nice and tight, and so they can throw it around and trash it as much as they want. It's just going to – it'll take it. Yeah. Um, that's that's military mindset, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Steve, okay, we already answered that. Linda Crouch watching with us. Randy Williams says, Mid-America Outdoors hopes, hopes – hope this works live – uh, you can't you can't feel the video like in real life. That's right, William. William's uh, absolutely right there. Uh, <laughs> William's re replying to the question of when the rock bouncing starts, and William says sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the way you're thinking, William. I I could do rock bouncing sun up to sundown, no doubt about it. Even at even at night, turn the lights I mean, on, baby. 
out and play. And yeah, some of the I guys mean, do have just trail rigs. Yeah. Folks, if you, if you never have been to one of our races, um, these guys will take their buggies and it'll start from the time they get here all night till the sun comes up and it'll go all the next day. They'll race. Then they'll go back out on the trails after the race and ride all weekend. It's going to be very loud at Mid-America this weekend. Cool, man. All night yeah, long. I got ear pro. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I love it. Uh, Melissa Cuppy says, Missouri crew headed your way tomorrow. Can't wait. We can't wait either, Melissa. We're going to see you there. Brandon awesome. Morgan wa- uh, Brandon Morgan, watching with us. Brian Williams says, Mid-America Outdoors has big jumps. Yeah, so we have a... Um... Our, our current short course, which is off limits to park visitors during track racing weekends. Yep. But we actually have an old course yep. just across the town from it that has a couple of really cool jumps. Yep. There's a big Connex jump. There's another smaller jump. We've had people set up uh, poles with measured feet and do jump competitions over there. Uh, nice. So lots of, and, and that's completely open to, to trail riding. Um, and I don't think it's even affected by the Bounty Hill setup. No. No. So, yeah, so that those are down there for play all weekend long. Cool, very cool. Uh, if you are in the park and running around and, and doing jumps and stuff like that, please make sure you've got personnel, pe- people to help you look out yes. for the other side Ride so smart. that some, another buggy's not coming in the other direction. Yeah. Ride smart. Yeah. Wear a helmet. Yep. Wear your harnesses. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Will Outlaw ever have an RC class? Uh, William Williams asking. Spotlight. <laughs> Somebody put me on the spot. <laughs> um, well, Nick, Nick, had, you know, you, you've asked um, before. Um, we have considered it. We're fixing to. I don't want to say anything right now, but um, after this race. We are going to shut down for a couple of weeks completely because I'm burnt. Yeah. I'm burnt out. Um, we, we've got a few things we've got to look at. We've got to look at next year dates, uh, which we've already started. Um, the safety rules, because we're one of the safest uh, series out there. And we're going to look at what else we can bring in for next year. So stay tuned. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jake Davis joining us. Forrest, can't wait to see y'all. Yep, Forrest uh, is coming. Coming. Uh, no, Forrest Duplessis coming from. Uh, will be coming to the NRRA finals, uh, and he's coming down from Maine. So, wow, yep, That's awesome. Uh, they're bringing. I think there's six or eight of them coming from New Hampshire, Maine, coming down, coming down for finals. So. Uh, Brant Shane joining us says, I'm coming down for my first time this weekend. I've never seen the racing live. Oh, that really? That's cool, man. Yeah, that is cool. Um, you know, with that said, uh, Kevin, I, I uh, the last show, what, what were we talking about? Um, but Shelby was in the chat and, uh, we were talking about, doing the driver's meeting like a few minutes early and then allowing um, spectators to come in and see, meet the drivers who are standing next to their buggies. Is that something that y'all are doing? Well, that's one thing I think that we have kind of forgot to talk about. Um, If we have time Saturday, um, and I've got it on the schedule, as a matter of fact, uh, from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Um, if we have time Saturday, uh, we want to have a meet and greet with all the racers and any spectator, any fan, come down, meet your racer. M- look at these buggies. Uh, y'all, ne- some, some people have never seen one of these buggies up close, and they don't realize what goes into building one of these things. So... I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say, let's get together. We're going to have a meet and greet Saturday evening sometime. Maybe the drivers can bring their buggies up to the shop. That way people can look at them, sit in them. And I guarantee you any driver is going to let, let you sit in the buggy, take pictures, and do whatever you want except for push buttons and take it for a spin. Yeah. <laughs> 
but uh, especially, especially the kids. Especially the kids man. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did want to say that um, a lot of a lot of people won't talk about this, and I don't know if I'll get in trouble for it, but if there are any parents out there that have kids with special needs, um, whether they're in a wheelchair or anything else, um, let us know because we want to make sure that child gets the best spot, can see everything, and yeah. gets the best experience of their life. Yeah. So parents, if you're out there, please, if you have a special needs child, let us know, and we want to work with you and help that child out. Yeah. Uh, totally agree. You can hit myself up, uh, Christina, Kevin, anybody anybody part of the Outlaw crew. I, I, I think that, you know, uh, I think that parents in that position need to be reminded of that because I'm sure that they, you know, feel that they can just handle it themselves. But uh, there, there's no reason why they can't get the same opportunity to go sit in TC's buggy or, or, uh, or uh, you know, meet Matt Schistler if they want to or whatever. You know, there's, there's no, there, there should be no limit as far as that goes. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jared Davidson, um, uh, name sounds familiar. He says this is going to be an epic weekend, uh, perfect for your first time. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. If there was any race that you had wanted to go to, yeah. this is the location. This is the race to yeah. come to. I agree. I agree. Uh, Jay Stortz, they have some knockout hills also, literally. <laughs> oh, Jay. Hey. <laughs> uh, for for those of y'all that are watching and and don't know, Jay uh, had a minor back injury. Uh, could have been way worse, way worse. And we are so thankful that Jay's on the mend. But uh, it is still hard to hard to not see you out there with us, Jay. But you'll be back, and and uh, Holden is is holding it down, if you will, uh, yes. racing for Storts Racing Man. So big shout out to. To Holden Stortz, uh, if you did not see his pirouette uh, in the dang on Hill Two at at uh, Hawk Pride, man, oh my goodness, that was Crazy. unbelievable. I have never seen that before. Uh, you know, I think we've got Jaden. Jaden's racing this weekend. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, UTV. Yep. That's awesome. So Jay's gonna be running around like a chicken with his head cut off, <laughs> even though he's not supposed to, Jay. Oh, he's not supposed to. You're not supposed to. I, I we were at uh, Hollywood a couple of weekends ago, and and uh, I'm like, I'm looking up on the hill, and Jay's up on up on the hill, man. He's like midway up the hill, and I'm like, Jay's not Jay, supposed to be up there. What are you doing? Get back down here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got to realize these guys, you know, Jay and and Daniel Heckley, um, you know. This is our passion. Yeah. It doesn't matter how bad you're hurt. Yeah. If you can't get in that buggy and go and race, it kills you. Yeah. You know, and, and Daniel, I can I can just, you know, I sit here and listen to him like it's driving me crazy. Yeah. Jay, I just can't handle this, you know. Yep. Uh <laughs> Jed Jed's just stirring the pot. He says, Jay Stortz, you should be you should be fine for drag racing fi Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm, good lord. Be a little say, I'm good so lord, tired. Jed. Be stirring the pot, well, man. Well, Jed, you need to register. <laughs> Poking the gorilla. Yep. Dang, man. <laughs> uh, uh, Bearcat says 99% sure Big Hill will be there. We'll be in Jay this weekend. All right. That's Love what I'm talking it, about. Love it. Uh, Jay says, almost ready to go. Go back or go back to Dr. next Thursday. Holden Storch is going to kill it this weekend. Awesome. Yep. Glad to hear that. Safrona Howard says, so ready for the weekend. You and me both. Uh, William Wallace says, good safety advice for, good safety advice for the park. Uh, you kind of touched on that. Christina uh, or and Kevin did as well with you know yep. you know watch out for those jumps and stuff but uh, is there anything else is there any minimums or anything that you guys require 
just for riding at the park, we don't have any specific requirements. We just recommend following Oklahoma State guidelines, following your vehicle specific recommendations. Uh, racing is another story. Yeah, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter, guys. If if you crank your buggy or your your TB up, buckle your harness. Buckle up. Yep. It doesn't take two seconds. Yep. I will tell you, the few accidents we've had with trail riders would have been avoided by that. Yep. yep. So. Yep. Up. Yep. And with me personally, I mean, any time that I get in my buggy, if I'm going to go anywhere, if I'm, except for pulling it out of the trailer, but if I'm going anywhere, I put my entire five-point harness on yep. because it's no different than putting your lap belt on. That's right. Yep. So why not go all the way? Yep. So everybody, any time that you get in your buggy and crank it up, harness up. Yep. We would rather have to find a way just to get your trail, your buggy out of the way rather than yep. having to help you personally as well. Yep. Not mask up. Harness up. Harness up. We don't wear masks. <laughs> so that's not a that's not a mandatory. You don't have to wear a mask. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't wear a mask. <laughs> masks are required, aren't they? I, I remember Anthony on was pulling into Dirty Turtle. And it was when all this was really getting bad, man. And he was driving in, and he, you know, he's he's waving to everybody, you know. And he wa he pulls up, and he waves to me, and I I kind of waved, and I went, mask. "Where's your mask?" You know, he wasn't happy. <laughs> Not the reaction from that guy. No. He's uh, else. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. We'll be here, and Crystal. Yeah, Chris, yep. his wife's gonna. Oh, yep. Well, guys, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even wear it. <laughs> <laughs> this this is a gift from my wife. Yeah. Thinks that I've got a big mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. All right I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I had to have that for Walmart earlier. This, earlier. Today. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, let's see. Jay says Jaden Stortz is going to kill it in loose cannon. It's ready to go. Good deal. Good deal. Another uh, young woman on the hill. Oh yeah, we. Uh, I do. I need to give a shout out. Um, um, Jade McNew. Uh, 13 year old girl from Gilmer, Texas. Um, Sean Cross, who is an awesome, awesome I guy. I mean, you know, he's he's about an hour and a half away from me. He he did my exhaust on my buggy, um, but he's just an all around awesome guy. Um, last race, and I'm a, I'm sorry, I might get a little emotional here. Um, what? Guys can cry too. <laughs> The peanut gallery is very focused <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> um, Sean gave his rock bouncer to Jay. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, is that everybody's like, okay, Jay, well, well, Jay's not his actual biological daughter. Um, he's kind of adopted Jay. Yeah. And um, she started racing a few races ago, and it's been up and down, but she's, she's getting a lot better. And um, as a matter of fact, she registered – Today, I think she read. Yeah, she registered today, and um, so Jade McNew um, is going to be driving Drama Queen, which yep. is the new name of Pennywise. Pennywise. This weekend, um, thirteen-year-old girl from Gilmer, Texas. Um, she's moving up. Yep, that's awesome. And, and I, girls on the hill. I least. have all the respect in the world for her yep. and so, Sean. As well, yep. And that buggy ain't no joke either, man. I mean, uh, it, you know. Sean is, you know, Sean is very talented. That, very and, talented. And Pennywise now drama queen, and Sean says if she doesn't tear it up too bad, he's gonna swap the panels and race as Pennywise. <laughs> Did he register? Awesome. Yeah. He's registered too. Yeah. Yeah. Jane, you can ride. You can you can register and race my buggy. I'll let you race it for free. No. <laughs> Yep. Uh, so William, William is trying to set up a trail ride with uh, Big Hill and Hill Rod, and uh, but Big Hill's not going to have a razor. 
So, so William is saying is looking for a loaner for Big Hill. <laughs> I, I hope they find one, and if they do, please get with me so I can give you a GoPro because yeah. I'm gonna need video. Yeah, no doubt. We're gonna need proof of that. Uh, of that yes. going down. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Well, guys, we've been going for over an hour, man. Uh, is, is there anything that, that we missed or anything else you guys would like to talk about? Uh, Safe travels for everybody. Yes. If you're heading up this way, be careful. Um, don't drive drink and drive. Yeah. Harness Until up. Until you get here. Yeah. Um, the advanced pass pricing is still on the website. Okay. Until I take it down tonight. So go buy your weekend passes. Come see us anyway. It's going to be an amazing weekend. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep, absolutely. And again, if you have any questions, uh, we've given out the website a few times, but uh, yes. midamericaoutdoors.com. Yes, and let me shout out too. There's a lot of people who have just kind of general questions, especially if it's their first time to the park, just about like park rules and things they can do, bring, don't bring. We do have an FAQ page on our website that answers a lot of that, especially about the writing, about like policies and stuff like that. So definitely check out the website and then shoot us a text, email, Facebook message if you have any other questions. And, yeah. And Kevin, uh, where can they go to see driver's order? Not even that, that but like uh, updates and stuff for the race. Um, updates for the race are always going to be on our Facebook page, outlawoffroadracing.com. We don't do driver's order till the morning of. Yeah. Um, it's a shuffle in front of all the drivers. The uh, website, you can go look at all of our past races uh, They with all the um, standings as well as the points and everything. Uh, if you have any questions about this weekend, feel free to inbox us on Facebook. Mid America, inbox them. We will get you answered quickly. Yeah, and same same goes for me too. I, I, I'm not going to be far, so if I can get your, uh, if I can help out, you know, message me as well. Uh, I'll, I'll give you this phone. You want to help out? No. Here. You call Mid America here. this week. <laughs> yeah. We will give two for one you deal. Just put it out there. You get two phones. We will give these to you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, this has been an absolute honor. Kevin, uh, I'm so thankful to have finally met you, uh, sir. I'm, I'm excited to shake your hand, uh, you know, do the gentlemanly thing there. And, and uh, I can't wait to see your uh, your whole operation go down this weekend. Uh, uh, cutting my teeth on finals. I mean, uh, it's just going to blow me away. I, I can't wait. And, this is uh, a wonderful weekend. Yep. And Christina, uh, thank you for all you've done for this show, for the park. Uh, it really means a lot, for sure. Thank you. We appreciate Nick. it. All right, Good guys. Job. You guys have a great Good night. Time. See you guys soon. Bye. See ya. All right, y'all. You saw it here. Mid-America in just a matter of hours at this point. Getting down to, uh, as John Beck would say, the nitty gritty. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Uh, tomorrow, I've got uh, kind of an interesting guest. Cam Udemark's going to be on the show from up there in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, I, I don't think he's in New Hampshire now. I, no, I don't think he's ever been in New Hampshire. But he's from, uh, he's up there in New York or... Uh, somewhere we're gonna have cam on the show tomorrow and i'm i'm excited i, I met cam at uh the mountain mud run and and uh, started following him uh he races in the renegades racing series and he's raced uh national rock racing association events i've, I've seen him all over so uh he is uh, no stranger to competition in uh, rock racing that's for sure uh, excited to have cam on the show tomorrow then uh, I get on a plane, y'all. Uh, as soon as I cut the cameras off after tomorrow's show, I'm wrap, packing everything up and uh, getting ready to go to the airport the next morning. So things are going to start happening fast, y'all. Uh, huge shout out to the sponsors of this show. I mentioned Christina and, and Mid America Outdoors, Jason 
and those guys, man, stepping up big time, getting behind this show. Um, Black Dog Photography, D Pats Photography, providing all of the stills, everything that uh, these beautiful pictures that we get to look at, all coming from those guys, amongst other things. Amongst other things, Charles from High Octane Films, always keeping us uh with the freshest content man and and uh editing skills are just getting out of control dude the, the guy is uh is a professional in, in all aspects of of uh, the sport that's for sure uh we talked a lot about uh eagle eye productions lucas um and his his crew uh very talented family uh, great for the sport, and I, I cannot wait to get with, with Lucas and, and uh, work with him over the weekend. Um, Canyon Coolers, John Martin, not going to make it this weekend, but we are going to see him at Mid-America uh, for finals for the National Rock Racing Association. So uh, I don't think that we had mentioned that yet. I'm, I do plan to have John on the show uh, if at, at a minimum briefly but uh definitely want to get john on and talk about uh, their commitment to to rock bouncing uh let's see i think last but not least cash lacroix racing uh big shout out to cash uh his dad john their whole family man they have stepped up big time and supported me supported this show and uh you know we, we wouldn't be getting to these races if it wasn't for for folks like that you know they are the first race team to get behind this show and um you know it, it uh it pays off it really does it really does they are not going to be there this weekend uh, but uh we will see them in alabama for the big pro rock nrra event ride for a cure it's going to be a big one all right, y'all, I'm out of here. Hit me up if you have any questions. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Well, I love y'all. See you soon.